The Iroquois Park Sports Center in Whippy, Ontario plays host to another major series lacrosse contest between the Peterborough Lakers and the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club on this Wednesday night. Welcome to Major Series Lacrosse on Rogers TV. Jack Moore and Andrew Osmond along with you. And Andrew Brooklyn coming off their last game, a home win a week ago tonight, where they knocked off the Six Nations Chiefs, the only loss on the season for Six Nations, 11-10 in overtime. Peterborough's only played one game. They were victorious in that coming into this one but Brooklyn with their young team with limited experience has to feel confident coming up against one of the other better teams in major series lacrosse yeah going in last week to Six Nations an established team across the MSL Brooklyn came in with a very young squad guy like Evan Kerrigan kind of carried the way Patrick in that one had the OT, OT winner but tonight Brooklyn gets a couple other pieces back a key guy Kyle Waters no no stranger to the MSL he returns tonight to face off against the Peterborough Lakers, who are coming off their Man Cup championship. As we will have a look at the uh, standings there, and you'll see how we sit early on here in the early part of the season. Six Nations, you mentioned, top of the standings. Played the most games as well, but that one loss coming last week to the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. We see Peterborough there, 1-0, just coming off the win against Brampton. But they play again tomorrow in their home opener uh, for the MSL season back in Peterborough. So that barn should be packed and with a lot of fans who are ready to cheer on not just the hometown Lakers, but you know, applaud the Peets for their effort in the Ontario Hockey League and how far they went this year as hey, well. Peterborough fans will be happy you're wearing the maroon shirt here tonight. Peterborough Peets, OHL champions. The first major game being played in the Peterborough Memorial Center since Peterborough won game six over London to go to the Memorial Cup where they did end up losing to Seattle in the semifinals. The Peterborough Lakers will play their first home game since winning the Man Cup last year. And this is a team that has to feel really good coming into this year. They get a number of key pieces is returning this season and they have to feel confident that they can go on another run and, and win another championship. Yeah, well the reason why is they got a lot of returning guys like Sean Evans and the Katoni brothers. Uh, you know, they're they're back here and, and they were, you know, not just carrying the team last year, they're going to carry the team again this year. They have that pedigree, that championship pedigree and they'll do it once again as we take a time here to look down at the ceremony pre-game here. The uh, Brooklyn Lacrosse Club taking a moment here as we'll, we'll take a moment to let you know to honor the life of Tom as he was known slick as a nickname in the lacrosse world regget here he's an Oshawa resident and played for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club years and years ago from 1985 to 1991 he was a four-time Man Cup champion with Brooklyn also played for the Peterborough Lakers in the MSL he's a member of the Canadian Lacrosse Hall of Fame he was inducted in 2012 and in his 332 games regular season games in the MSL he racked up 1080 points and we will send it down to the floor and we'll be back with you after the national anthem.
Getting you set for Peterborough against Brooklyn in game number three on the season for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club in Major Series Lacrosse. Game number two on the year for the Peterborough Lakers, and we'll take a look at our starting goaltenders, Andrew. And we'll start with the Peterborough Lakers, who are looking at Landon Kells, who's going to make the start. Drew Hutchison drew the start for the first game of the year for the Peterborough Lakers. Tonight, they're going to turn to Landon Kells, the 2000-born gentleman making his season debut here for Peterborough. And on the other end of the floor, it's going to veteran Riley Hutchcraft of the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. He started in the first game of this season in a loss against the Coburg Kodiaks earlier this year, making 49 saves in that effort. So a busy, busy guy Riley Hutchcraft was, but he's no stranger to this floor and these Peterborough Lakers as they score off here for the first time since game five of last season in the MSL playoffs. That was the first round Peterborough would go on to beat Six Nations in the championship series and then, of course, win the Man Cup as Brooklyn wins the opening faceoff and we are underway as Parker Pfeiffer getting things going at the offensive end of the floor. Seven assists on the year, three of those coming last week in that 11-10 victory over the Six Nations Chiefs in overtime. Luke Pilcher works this one off. Pfeiffer walks in, centering pass, and Peroni scores! Adam Peroni gets Brooklyn on the board first, just 43 seconds in. And a great passing play there by Brooklyn, moving the ball around really well, getting it in down low. And we'll see as we take another look at that Peroni goal. They got it right down low, worked the ball, and then a one-touch pass as his man broke Peroni all alone, and it was just one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender, Kells. And the first shot on net is a goal for Brooklyn. Hot start for Brooklyn, and really the important piece to winning that yep. game last week against Six Nations. They got out to a 4-0 lead. They chased Holichuk, the call-up starting goaltender for the Chiefs. And then Brooklyn was subsequently outscored 10 to six in regulation time by the Chiefs as Peter Bros to the offensive end of the floor for the first time today with holding Katoni. But then Brooklyn was able to pick up the win in overtime with Zach Kerrigan getting his seventh of the season. Brooklyn forces a turnover. Peter Bro can't get a shot away on their first possession, but a turnover here in Brooklyn territory. And Peter Bro goes back to work as that shot rings iron and stays out. Mitch Ogilvie. Picks up the loose ball, and Peterborough settles things down with a fresh shot clock. Thomas Hogarth plays it off to Taylor. Katoni down low is walking in and scoring are the Lakers. Thomas Hogarth, sorry, that's Owen Hiltz firing that one home, and Peterborough makes it a 1-1 game. And just like that on their first offensive possession of the ball game, they grabbed that one and they were lucky to get that offensive rebound and keep possession. That's the reason why they were able to stay on the offensive attack. And you see just cutting into the slot there, just kind of a bit far out, but into the center of the floor. Owen Hiltz is able to throw that one through traffic and beat Riley Hutchcraft. So first of the season for Hiltz. Not even a minute after Brooklyn opens the scoring, Peterborough responds with one of their own. Mitch Ogilvy has it back in Brooklyn territory here for the Lakers. Josh Courier finds Owen Hiltz, who had that goal for Peter Bros. A pass in front, Tate Katoni can't put it home. Had an assist in the opening 11-8 win against Brampton last Thursday. Can't get that shot away in, all alone in front of the net. Brooklyn's back up the offensive end of the floor. Darren Elliott works it off, and Kerrigan off to the wall. Brooklyn trying to find some success, but we'll get a whistle here. And it'll remain Brooklyn ball. So we'll get a restart. Zach Kerrigan will get it up top for Brooklyn. Sorry, they'll start on the side with Tyler Goodchild. There's and it. they're going to put 15 seconds on the shot clock for our restart. And so we'll just wait for that to tick down here and then they will resume. That shot misses the net. Brooklyn looking to find the ball, but it will go, or they'll wave off the over and back, but the shot clock with just seconds remaining, they will finally give us the over and back call. And so it will be Peterborough ball from mid floor. Holding Katoni, two goals, two assists in the season opener for Peterborough. And they play that home opener tomorrow night. 
at the Peterborough Memorial Center. Quick shot stopped by Riley Hutchcraft. Got the opening start of the season for Brooklyn in that 11-5 loss to the Coburg Kodiaks in Coburg as McCrory looking for something at the offensive end. He's turned away and forced off to the wall. A good defensive play by Alex Pace. Pace starts things up as Ogilvy in transition works and off to take Katoni. Hiltz works it to the near side of the floor for Josh Courier. Turner Evans flips this one off. Tate Katoni looking for room. Hutchcraft to save. Rebound pops out and Courier regroups. He was looking for a shot, but Hutchcraft a good job at taking away the angles. 20 seconds on the shot clock on this extended Offensive possession for Peterborough. Quick shot and they score. 2-1 Lakers. Two unanswered goals. And Peterborough has their first lead of the contest. And you'll see it right here coming from Josh Courier. A quick pass down low as he comes bottom of your screen there. Spots his man far side there. Right down low. And I believe it goes far side over the shoulder of Hutchcraft. Turner Evans gets his second goal of the season. So Brooklyn takes a 1-0 lead, just 20-some seconds into this first period, but Peterborough responds with two quick ones. Three and a half minutes into period number one, 2-1 Lakers. Loose ball picked up by Brock Strong, and Brooklyn looking to go back to the offensive end of the floor and find some success as Zach Young works this one off, and Darren Elliott back up the floor for Brooklyn. There's a shot, it squeaks through and they score. We're tied once again, Brooklyn responds. Kyle Waters with his first of the season and the big 6'4", 205 forward getting it done at the offensive end of the floor. Well, welcome back to the MSL, Kyle Waters. Early on here, your team's down one. You use that big body and get a lucky spin right there to get it over the line and tie this game up at two with just about four minutes gone here in the first period. Sixth overall pick in the 2021 NRL Draft by the Calgary Roughnecks. Big addition back into the lineup here for Brooklyn. As Hogarth works it off, centering pass, Courier, it gets through, but Hutchcraft able to find it in the crease and settle things down. Zach Young looking for the outlet. Parker Pfeiffer into the offensive zone. Pfeiffer back up top for Kyle Waters. Kerrigan picks up the loose ball but lost it again and Peterborough looking to go in transition. Pace forced to the boards. Ogilvy over center. And Peterborough back at the offensive end of the floor in this 2-2 game. Take Katoni. Up top for Evans. Turner Evans works this one off to Thomas Hogarth. Now back to Katoni. Take Katoni, shot gets deflected, and Hutchcraft makes the save on the deflected shot. Brooklyn goes away in transition. Daniel Mays at center, and he is forced over and back. A good job by Matt Wright and Adam Thistleway. Now Gilray. Works this one down low, Austin Hazen. Back up top to Courier. Courier trying to go back to Hazen, but it was picked off. A good stick there by Jack Travassos, and he's away with speed. Travassos in transition, and that one gets stopped by Landon Kells. Now Peterborough looks for a quick chance the other way up the floor. Holding Katoni. His shot whistles wide off the back of the net, and Parker Pfeiffer able to slow things down and stretch the floor for Brooklyn. Tyler Goodchild works it around and Parker Pfeiffer gets it back. Kerrigan flips it off, Goodchild's shot. That gets stopped by Kells and a shot clock reset for Brooklyn who get the offensive rebound. Now a centering pass as Pfeiffer steps in and he stepped into the crease so it's Peterborough ball. Parker Pfeiffer all over the offensive end of the floor. Seven assists on the year, but still looking for that first goal of the season. Turner Evans 
Forced off to the wall by Ben McDonnell. Spins away from pressure, walks in, cross floor pass, and they score. Riley Hutchcraft got a piece, but it wasn't enough. And Peterborough restores that one goal advantage on a nice cross floor pass from Turner Evans and Josh Courier gets his first of the season. Yeah, Turner Evans spins away from trouble there on the boards and had a clear path towards the net. And again, another bouncing ball behind the goaltender squeaks on in. And we're just taking a second here as Riley Hutchcraft came to the bench for some water as he now heads back to man his net. They have three to Peterborough here. A lot of goals early on. Quick pace, we saw this last week in Brooklyn as well. A lot of goals in the opening 10 minutes. Early movement from Parker Pfeiffer off the faceoff, so they're gonna say it's Peterborough ball, but we'll say, see what the referee conversation turns out, and they'll redo the faceoff. Six minutes, 37 seconds into this first period. Five goals on the board, three for Peterborough, two for Brooklyn. Kyle Waters and Adam Peroni, each getting their first of the season for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. Turner Evans, Josh Courier, and Owen Hiltz for Peterborough. Austin Hazen can't control the pass, but it bounces right to Courier. 15 to shoot for Peterborough. Hazen driving in, sidesteps the defender, down low, Gilray scores! Matt Gilray's third of the year, 4-2 Peterborough. Well, there's two quick goals for Peterborough to extend the lead. Four to two, up of Mount Gilray. Just down low there, one-on-one -on -one beating Hutchcraft once again. A bit of a defensive lap there for Brooklyn. Getting caught a little bit. Brock Strong picks it up off the faceoff, and Ryan McCrory setting things to the offensive end of the floor. Mays holding, waiting for a screen. Back to Kyle Waters. Waters drops this one off. Ryan McCrory up top with 10 to shoot for Brooklyn. Pass for Mays in behind him, and that one gets taken away by Tyler Grandell. Caleb Creaser. Over center floor as he flips it off to Turner Evans and goes for a change. 4-2 Peterborough here in the early going on this Wednesday night from Whippy. Joel Taylor stepping away from McDonnell, driving in, forced back to the corner. Now it's Catoni into the middle, being watched by Peroni. Catoni, not to take Catoni, and that's a shot clock violation over and back. Whatever you choose, and <laughs> it's gonna be Brooklyn ball. And that's the kind of stop Brooklyn's looking. Back-to-back -back possessions, they give up a goal. They had the lead, now they're trailing. Looking for something here. Peterborough trying to force a turnover, and that pass goes off the near boards. Kerrigan can't get it off the glass, and away goes Peterborough again. Stretch pass down the floor, but it's just out of the reach of Jordan Sturros. Riley Hutchcraft able to get it back for his Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. Zach Kerrigan holding and driving in, but gets forced back. Maintains possession and flips it off to Waters, whose shot gets deflected and goes wide off the back glass and into the crowd. And they're going to say it's Peterborough ball. Jason Crosby, the head coach of Brooklyn, saying he thought that shot was deflected by Peterborough and went out of play, but it will be Lakers ball. And he's still pleading the case. Jack Travasso is able to force the turnover and go away again in transition. Travasso's quick pass, that shot goes wide from Pilcher. Mays can't get it on the offensive end of the floor, so it'll be Peterborough ball on the restart. Taylor off his stick, loose ball rolling towards the boards and Tate Catoni flips it and that's over and back against Peterborough, and Catoni's now being sent to the penalty box after yeah. flipping it out of play. Well, and he's gonna be, he's, the reason he's angry is the possession before the over and back of Brooklyn. Brooklyn sent it down the floor, just exactly what Catoni just did on the over and back call, threw it down the floor, and the officials let that one go against Brooklyn, and the Lakers had to start from their own zone, 
And in this case, he's going to get called for doing, in his mind, and, and in my mind from up here as well, the exact same thing that Brooklyn did the possession before. Take it, Tony voiced his displeasure going to the box, but Brooklyn going to the power play for the first time. Down by two here, just about midway through this first period. One and one, Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. Quick passing and Pilcher's shot gets turned away by Landon Kells. Peterborough able to find the loose ball and they send it very high into Brooklyn territory. So Ben McDonnell fresh off the bench, flips it off to Kyle Waters and McDonnell switches for Zach Kerrigan. Pilcher holding, flips to Kerrigan. Down low, cross floor passing from Brooklyn. Trying to create an open shooting lane as Pilcher. Off to Kerrigan, waiting, shooting, and Kells makes a big save. Peterborough stepped into their own crease on the possession exchange, so Brooklyn gets the ball back with a fresh shot clock. 1.10 to go in the power play. Quick passing by Brooklyn. Is that one going through the crease? And Kells able to trap it down and slow things down. Parker Pfeiffer is trying to catch the Lakers sleeping. Gilray off to Holden Katoni. Off to Mitch Ogilvie. Peterborough already down 20 seconds in the shot clock, trying to take off as much time as possible with still 40 seconds remaining in their penalty. Is that shot stopped by Hutchcraft as he traps it up against that left shin pad? Brooklyn has four more seconds on the shot clock than the penalty clock as Kyle Waters up top. Waters holding and he scores! Kyle Waters second of the game. This one's a power play marker. And Brooklyn pulls back within one. You might want to say that big body, Kyle Waters would score his goal right in front of the net. Not in this case, he's that sharpshooter now at the top of the, top of the area there. You get the pass back, one touch pass. Good screen in front there. Causes some issues, Parker Piper on Matt Gilray, opening up that shooting lane for Kyle Waters for his second of the game, a power play one at that. Some blows being exchanged in the early going of this one, and Brooklyn pulls back within one. Tyler Goodchild with possession at the offensive end of the floor. 20 to shoot, but that's over and back against Brooklyn, and it will be Peterborough ball. And that power play goal is going to feel good for Jason Crosby and this Brooklyn squad. Last game going 0-4, but giving up a couple shorthanded goals. So here you're able to capitalize on your first opportunity tonight. Yeah, not only not being able to capitalize on the power play, his career's pass down low, bounces into the corner. But then to have three against you, and Peterborough scores immediately to respond. More cross floor passing from the Lakers. And another one finds the back of the net. It's now five to three. Turner Evans gets his second of the game. Yeah, Turner Evans, a good quick pass here down low. Once again, from about the same spot, he scored his other goal and delivered that pass for a, another goal earlier, earlier on in this first period. He's picking up that short side on Riley Hutchcraft on that attempt. No shortage of goals in the first 11 and a half minutes of this one, 5-3 Peterborough. Another turnover forced by Caleb Creaser, and the Lakers back to the offensive end of the floor. Mitch Ogilvie off to Holden Katoni. Without a goal in this one so far, he had two in the opening game on Thursday against Brampton. Take Katoni. Looking for the loose ball against Brock Strong on the near side. Hogarth trying to find the loose ball as well as the shot clock will expire and it will be Brooklyn ball. Brampton checking back into major series lacrosse this season. Tough schedule to start the year when you get Six Nations in Peterborough as your first two games. 0-2 in their return to major series lacrosse. And then who does Brampton play tomorrow? Peterborough, <laughs> once again. In Peterborough, which you talk about 
tough places to play. Peterborough Memorial Center would rank up there. Holden Katoni locks in. That shot stopped by Hutchcraft. And Peterborough able to corral the rebound. Owen Hill to open the scoring for Peterborough. His pass is deflected away. And Ryan McCrory able to find it for Brooklyn. Adam Peroni steps over mid-floor. And Parker Pfeiffer played his first NLL game on March 27th for Rochester. That was in Las Vegas. Scored his first and second NLL goals after spending the first 16 weeks of the season on the practice squad for the Rochester Nighthawks. Offensive foul against Brooklyn, and Peterborough will go back up the floor. His pace has it knocked out of his cradle, and a good battle ensues. Jack Travassos takes it away for Brooklyn. Travassos works it off to Trent Boyd. Second on the team in points with two goals and five assists. Only trails Zach Kerrigan, who has seven goals and an assist on the season in the early going. That shot by Goodchild gets stopped by Landon Kells. Rebound rolls out of the crease, and Kerrigan was tied up. Kells able to trap it down, and Peterborough back, back up the floor. Not a bad start to the season for Zach Kerrigan offensively. Four goals in the first game, three last week, and an assist. Take Katoni, driving in, forced back, flips it off to Courier. Down low, cross floor passing, bounces off the boards right in front of the Brooklyn net. And John LeClerc is able to find the loose ball and bring it up the floor for Brooklyn. LeClerc stops the over and back from happening, and Kyle Waters slows things down. Pfeiffer down low for Waters. That bounces just past his stick. He was looking for the hat trick in the early going, trying to pull his team back within one. Just under five and a half to play in period number one. Turner Evans. No Sean Evans in this game for Peterborough. As that shot from Holden Katoni gets stopped by Hutchcraft. And a Lakers player went into the crease. That was Joel Taylor. So it will be Brooklyn ball back the other way. Trent Boyd. Getting the screen from Mays. Parker Pfeiffer off the bench. Boyd driving in and holding. Now flips it back for Pilcher. Can't get a stick on it. Mays right in front of the Peterborough bench. Able to hold it at center floor. Trying to quick pass down low. It was picked off by Mitch Ogilvie. There's only five seconds left in the shot clock. And Peterborough back in transition the other way as they slow things down. Take Katoni. Works this one back for Hilt. Back to Katoni on the wall. Katoni into the middle. Off to the boards. Hazen driving in. Flips this one off. Hogarth. Centering pass, bounces away. McDonnell can't find it. Take Katoni against the boards late in the shot clock. Peterborough will just roll one past Hutchcraft and shot clock violation will bring up Brooklyn Ball. Kyle Waters works it off. Now it's Kerrigan driving in. Zach Kerrigan off the post. Great chance there for Kerrigan, but he can't convert. Now it's good child on the reset, on the shot clock for Brooklyn. Kerrigan trying to create some space for himself. Off to Waters, driving in, he scores! The hat trick for Kyle Waters on the pass from Zach Kerrigan. 3.44 to go in the first. Once again, a one goal game. And that's a Kyle Waters goal if I've seen one. Using that big body, getting right down the lane. Getting the ball one on one with the goaltender. He beats him once again for his third of the game and third on the season here back with the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. He's got Brooklyn back within one here with 3.44 to go in the first period. Ben McDonnell trying to get something going again offensively. Off to Peroni who has the only other goal for Brooklyn so far in this one as Trent Boyd tried to get on the score sheet but Landon Kells making his first start of the season turned that one away. He's a member of the 2022 NLL expansion draft, Kells was to the Vegas Desert Dogs, who are coached by former Brooklyn Lacrosse Club great Sean Williams. His son Dyson, a big member of the team last year, and 
Question if he's going to come back this year with the World Championships coming up. Pilcher works this one in. A backhanded shot gets turned away by Kells. And it's Peterborough ball as they work it up the floor in transition. Jack Travassos, who's been good at forcing turnovers, forces another one there, and he's in transition with Strong. Strong walking in. His shot stopped by Kells. And the rebound off to the boards as Ogilvy picks up. Now it's Holden Katoni. Off to Hogarth, walking in, shouldered away by Riley Hutchcraft. Big stop for Brooklyn here with under two and a half to go in the first period, down by one. Ryan McCrory off to Kyle Waters. Sees a little bit of room, trying to spin away from Gilray. Now drops it back to Boyd. Boyd works it off to Darren Elliott. Back to Boyd, driving in, knocked out of his cradle, and away goes Peterborough in transition. Trying to move quickly, Gilray. Works it up the floor for Matt Wright. Wright steps in, stopped by Hutchcraft in the rebound. Rolls past Wright, but able to scoop it up the second time. Trying to keep it away from pressure. Peterborough doesn't want to change if they don't have to, and they will have to get their defenders back on the floor as Brooklyn gets it back. Good effort, one on three from Matt Wright there to try and hold that Peterborough possession. Pfeiffer hits the screen from Peroni, but he a little bit too aggressive there on the screen on Nick Webb, and it'll, it will be Peterborough ball once again. Pass just out of the reach of Owen Hiltz. Josh Taguri able to pick it up, and Brooklyn back with possession again. Tyler Goodchild flips this one off to Kyle Waters. Waters, 15 to shoot for Brooklyn. Off to Goodchild. Hits the screen from Mays. Goodchild in the corner. Up top for Waters. His shot, he scores! Four in the first for Kyle Waters. And we're tied at five with 63 seconds to go in the opening period. What a shooting percentage Kyle Waters has so far this season. Four goals here in the first period of his season. And all kinds, cutting to the net from way out. This one is a bit of a screen in front there from Alex Pace on Peterborough. But he beats the goaltender, Landon Kells, for the fourth time, and we're tied up at five. He makes it look too easy. Mm -hmm. Kyle Waters with four in this first period. Adam Peroni, the only other goal scorer here for Brooklyn, but it's a 5-5 game as Peterborough trying to stop the bleeding a little bit. Matt Gilray gets dumped down to the floor. Michael Grace being called for interference, so Peterborough will go to their first power play of the game. And with 47 seconds to go, Brooklyn will have to try and get to the room tied at five and not allow this deadly Peterborough power play to go yep. to work. Yeah, it's only they've only played one game, but they were picture perfect. Three for three in their first game of the season, their first attempt on the power play here right now. Katoni up top, off to Hazen. Holding Katoni, shot stopped by Hutchcraft. The rebound picked up by Brooklyn, Zach Young. Flips it off to McDonnell, and away goes Brooklyn, two on one up the floor. Ben McDonnell walking in, his pass goes off, and Peroni can't control it. Finds it off the boards, though. 15 to shoot for Brooklyn on the penalty kill here. So they get a stop from Hutchcraft. And now able to kill some time at the offensive end of the floor. As that shot from Pilcher goes wide. And Peterborough will just let the shot clock violation take place. And a timeout call by the Peterborough Lakers with just five seconds left in period number one. Power play, so you'd imagine that Landon Kells will stay on the bench here. And an opportunity for the Lakers to take a one goal lead into the first intermission. Yeah, and the Lakers are drawn up a bit of a set play here. You got under six seconds to work with. You'll get the ball slightly over half court. So they're gonna drop a bit of a set play. You gotta move the ball a little bit. Don't only move it towards the net, but maybe a couple passes, maybe two quick passes, maybe a partial screen. And Brooklyn's discussing how to defend this. Whether they go zone or man, they might go tight man here just to 
try to stay with the potential shooter, whoever the designated shooter will be. And it looks like Landon Kells is actually going to return to the net, so they're not going to have an extra attacker to the Lakers in car. Well, they have six on the floor, and Kells got there a signal go. <laughs> across, so he will go to the bench. So six forwards on the floor here for the Lakers. Tate and Holden Katoni as Courier on the near side. Pass down low for Evans. Centering pass, Holden Katoni put it wide, and that will end the first period. So a great chance for the Peterborough Lakers at the end of period number one, but back in fourth they went in the opening frame. Kyle Waters with four in the opening period for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club, and we have a 5-5 game through the opening 20 minutes of play here at the Iroquois Park Sports Center in Whippy. We have your first intermission coming up for you after the break. You're watching Major Series Lacrosse on Rogers TV. Welcome back inside the Iroquois Park Sports Center in Whippy. Jack Moore and Andrew Osmond along with you in a fun first period, Andrew. Five goals apiece, 10 goals total in that opening 20 minutes of play. And really, if you're Brooklyn, you're going toe to toe with Peterborough just like you did last week against Six Nations. And you have to feel good if you're this young Brooklyn lacrosse club team. And feel even better because you started this game on top and then you were down a couple goals and you fought your way back. Something you didn't have to do against Six Nations. You kept the lead, you had it tied, you never dropped the lead or you never were down against Six Nations. But today, you were down a couple goals to Peterborough and you came back and tied it up here with just over a tick uh, left to go in the first period and we're tied at five. So if you're Brooklyn, you're definitely happy you're staying toe to toe with Six Nations and a team like Peterborough here early on in the season. Well, if you're Brooklyn, you're also happy to get a big guy back and big guy not only in the scoring but also physically at 6-4-205. Kyle Waters returns back to the Brooklyn lineup and in his first period of play, he has four goals already for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. Yeah, he was the star of the first period for the uh, Brooklyn Lacrosse Club in these highlights that we'll show you. He had four of them, as we mentioned, a hat trick quickly, a fourth one, no, no doubter as well. He scored in all kinds of ways as well, driving to the net, moving that, you know, using his handles a little bit around the goal, uh, but also using the screens in front, taking that clear shot on net, and be just beating the goaltender almost one-on-one. -on -one. So he's kind of been doing it all in all four of those goals, which is what you want to see. You don't want just a one-dimensional kind of player, especially coming back to a young team. As we take a look at the heights, you'll see them, but, yeah, you don't want... Kyle Waters just one dimensional. You like seeing him, you know, spreading what he's able to do and showing his talent as we see it here. First early on, it's it's Peroni opening the scoring for Brooklyn. And then going back the other way, it's Peterborough tying it up there from Owen Hills. And then it's uh follow along here. Turner Evans with a couple passes in there. You see Kyle Waters getting his first. And a couple bouncers there, a pass from Turner Evans goes to Josh Courier. And then this is where Peterborough was building up their lead. And then a one touch pass, Kyle Waters uses that screen in front and beats the goaltender from way out. And a far pass, a nice long pass there to get Peterborough another goal. But we sit at five goals apiece. And Kyle Waters had a couple more in there that we didn't get a chance to show you. But another one from far out as well, showing he's got a bit of a snipe show uh, in, his, in his repertoire. So good to see that from Kyle Waters coming back, the veteran guy adding the, that bigger presence to a smaller and younger Brooklyn team. Zach Kerrigan was the one who was leading the way with the goal scoring. He felt good in the first game, having four goals in that opening game when the team only scored five against Coburg. He had three last week and he had an assist, including the overtime winning goal against the Six Nations Chiefs. And then Kyle Waters comes back. Let me show you how a vet gets it done. He gets four in the opening period of play. But this Brooklyn team, we said it, they have to feel good. Riley Hutchcraft has make, made some big saves. We saw Nick DeMood keeping the team in it last week, and now it's Riley Hutchcraft getting it done between the pipes for Brooklyn here in the opening 20 minutes. Yeah, and it looked early on that Riley Hutchcraft was, I wouldn't say struggling a little bit, but he was getting beat in tight, and he was being, getting beat on a far side, you know, not covering the net as, as, you know, as much as he should as the big body that he's got. Uh, but later on in that period, he kind of settled down a little bit. He was making those saves, keeping the ball in front of him. We saw a couple bouncing balls at some goaltender's feet in that first period. He was able to start seeing them in front of him, controlling those rebounds and getting his defenders to move the ball up the floor, kind of controlling the pace a little bit more, not as hectic in the defensive zone or scrambled as we saw maybe in the first half of that first period. 
Peterborough still getting their feet wet in the early season. So is Brooklyn. They've only played two games go coming into this one. Second game of the year for Peterborough. Six days removed from their first game. But really, that offense hasn't gone anywhere. These guys are gearing up at, at full tilt. Now for the Peterborough Lakers, it's about getting keeping the ball out of their own net. Yeah, doing that as well. And you're doing it without a guy like Sean Evans. You know, Turner Evans is stepping up quite a bit here, uh, working that passing game. But Sean Evans not in the lineup. You can just look for him to get back into things and really help the offensive side. But yeah, the defensive side of the game so far has been, been doing very, very well. It's, you know, keeping the slot has is, is been their problem, I'd say, in that first period of play for Peterborough and the Lakers. They're letting guys drive right down the middle of the floor. They got to tighten that center up a little bit, have those, you know, guys closer to the net kind of clog into that slot and really stop the, the offensive threat from Brooklyn going right down the middle, one on one with the goaltender. And if they could do that, we'll see a probably a positive outcome, possibly a positive outcome for Peterborough here in the next two periods. When we talked to Jason Crosby, the head coach of Brooklyn, before the game, he said his team knows that they can do it because they won an overtime last week against Six Nations. They're 5 5 through 20 minutes of play here at the Iroquois Park Sports Center in Whippy against the defending Man Cup champion, Peterborough Lakers. We have the second period coming up for you next. You're watching Major Series Lacrosse on Rogers TV. Welcome back inside the Iroquois Park Sports Center as we have another season of Major Series Lacrosse and a big shout out goes to Brooklyn Lacrosse Club equipment manager Paul Wade whose wife gave birth last night to their second child, a baby boy named Brock. So congratulations to Paul and the family. He was not here, obviously, <laughs> as his wife gave birth last night. But we want to send out a congratulations and another member of the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club coming into the world last night, Andrew. Yeah, growing that fan base one by one. So Brock, welcome to the squad. I'm sure dad will be happy to have you out to a game at some point this season, hopefully. And I know the team is happy for him as well as they've made sure to get the message to us, to get the message out there to all of you watching at home to congratulate Paul and his family on the new addition in the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club world. Team's back on the floor as we get set for the second period here at the Iroquois Park Sports Center. Peterborough still on the power play for a minute 12 seconds in period number two in a 5-5 game. So Jack Travassos to take the opening face off against Matt Gilray. Shots 11 to 11 in that opening period. Both teams converting on five of them. And Peterborough will get the first possession of period number two with a minute to go in the power play. And holding Katoni sets up up top. Katoni works it off and gets it back from Hazen. Now it's Tate Katoni off to Turner Evans. Evans to Holden Katoni. It got deflected. Jack Travassos can't punch it loose the first time. He does the second time and does his best. Lionel Messi <laughs> to get it down the floor. Peterborough gets it back late in the shot clock, and it will be Brooklyn ball as there was no change of possession there by Travassos. So Brooklyn able to kill some time, and now with a possession late in the penalty. 15 seconds to go in this Peterborough power play. 15 seconds to go now in the shot clock. Brooklyn can have a shot clock violation and kill off the remainder of this penalty. Michael Grace getting the interference call at the end of, or late in period number one. He comes back out of the box. First time Peterborough hasn't scored on a power play this season. Brooklyn's one for one on the man advantage so far tonight in this 5-5 game. Taylor fires a shot, that goes wide, and this one will be over and back against Peterborough. For a minute, 30 seconds into period number two, and it feels like we're a shortage of goals after what we saw in period number one. <laughs> yeah, this isn't what we're used to. Let's get some goals in here, guys. Brooklyn at the offensive <laughs> end of the floor. Hayes. Off to the wall is Pilcher. To Kyle Waters, looking for more as Hayes. Gets it back over the top. It got through Kells, but bounced over the net. And Peterborough finds the rebound. Alex Pace. Off to Hiltz, driving in. Forced back into the corner by Taguri. Hiltz gets it back and flips it to the far side. 
Holden Katoni drops this one off. It bounces off the boards. Hogarth fires a shot that goes wide. It bounces off the side of Riley Hutchcraft. And Nolan Ruddy will get the restart for Brooklyn and bring it up the floor on this long change in period number two. Tomorrow night when the Peterborough Lakers play, they're bench in the middle at the Peterborough Memorial Center. As that long shot from Boyd gets stopped by Kells. Bench is on the opposite sides of the floor. Interesting for lacrosse. Peterborough uses it as the advantage for the change. Mm. In hockey, the Peets use it as the advantage for the penalty box that's right beside them. So the away team has the penalty box beside them in Peterborough for lacrosse games. A little bit smaller of a bench that the Lakers use on the home floor, but it's right in the middle. So you have the same setup, first and second and third periods, as opposed to having a long change like you would here in period number two. Hayes up top off to Pilcher. Now it's Elliott getting a screen, stepping in, shooting it wide. And that's going to bounce back for over and back against Brooklyn. Peterborough gets the restart with speed to the net. And that gets turned away by Hutchcraft as Caleb Creaser couldn't bury it past the Brooklyn goaltender. Hutchcraft, who turned 26 two days ago on Monday, getting his second start of the season. Hiltz. Flip pass for Turner Evans, but he was tied up, so he couldn't find it, and Brooklyn goes away in transition. That shot gets turned away by Kells, whose Pilcher couldn't convert. Now it's Hayes. Trying to step away from the defender, has Boyd in front of the net. Kerrigan off the bench. Now it's Goodchild up top. Goodchild. Works it off to Pilcher. Now Hayes again. Kerrigan. Flips it in, this one picked up as that shot gets turned away. Darren Elliott was looking for the chance, but Landon Kells made the save. That was close to over yeah. and back right <laughs> at center floor. As Peterborough getting that one away just in time, Nick Webb. Joel Taylor. Off to holding Katoni. Back to Taylor. Being watched by Adam Peroni. Taylor walking in, flips it down low. Hogarth couldn't control it. McDonnell jumps and makes the catch and turns away in transition. Now it's Waters off the bench, but McDonnell keeps it himself. McDonnell scores! Picked up the rebound in his own zone, runs the length of the floor, and Ben McDonnell gets his first of the season. Takes it all the way from his own end of the floor and finally gets a goal here in the second period and gives Brooklyn the lead here, six to five. And that one must feel good. You see that little fist bump from him after he scored. It was a little self-motivation. He gets himself on the board here in the third game for Brooklyn this season. He told Kyle Waters, you scored enough already. <laughs> Let me take some of that offensive pressure away as Peterborough looking to respond. Ogilvy on a break. He shoots, stopped by Hutchcraft, and the rebound stays out as he reaches behind him. Brooklyn trying to turn things around offensively here as well as Travassos off to Hayes. Now Waters, his shot gets deflected and bounces at a play into the stands on the near side of the floor. Brooklyn ball on the restart and a fresh shot clock as well. Pilcher off to Hayes. Hayes works this one off, Darren Elliott. Now Pilcher shoots, stopped by Kells. Rebound picked up by Peterborough and swallowed up by Adam Thistlewaite. He stretches the floor, Creaser walks in, that shot goes wide, and out of play, it's Brooklyn ball. And we'll get a stoppage here as that last shot sprung the clip on the mask of Landon Kells off. So he'll have to readjust his mask before we get restarted here, and Riley Hutchcraft will take the opportunity, 532 into period number two to get some water, so Landon Kells will go back to his bench as well. Yeah, the official was trying to help Landon Kells get it back on during play, but as we saw in that rush down the floor, Peterborough took that shot and went out of play, so it was gonna be Brooklyn Ball going down the floor with a goaltender without his mask on properly, so both goaltenders will take advantage here and grab a sip of water as we've now passed Six and a half minutes gone here in the second period. 
But all we needed was that goal from McDonnell to get the pace up here and get the feet moving, get the passes crisp. And we've had a great last little minute or so here of lacrosse action in Brooklyn. Good action both ends of the floor here as we get the restart. Brooklyn from their own zone. And that one's going to be over and back against Brooklyn. That was close. <laughs> Just by the toe is Turner Evans scores! Matt Gilray with the feed off to Turner Evans. He gets the hat trick for Peterborough and we're tied at six. Yep, just off that turnover there. Grabbing the ball, moving it up the floor pretty quick and Turner Evans gets his third goal here. As you'll see it here, just right after the whistle, down the floor, puts that shot along the floor and beats Riley Hutchcraft. Turner Evans third of the game. We're tied up once again, this time at six. Back and forth they go, both ends of the floor, and Gilray looking for more now for Peterborough. Gilray over the top, that shot misses wide. Bounces off the rafters and at a play, it'll be Brooklyn ball. Ryan McCrory up the floor with speed for Brooklyn. Forced into the corner and spins away from pressure up top for Pilcher. And watched closely by Matt Wright. Kyle Waters off to Kerrigan. Kerrigan walks in. That shot stopped by Kells. And away goes Peterborough. Adam Thistleway with speed. One on four, and he'll have to turn away to try and get some help off the bench. Flips it off as Hiltz. Finds Courier in the corner. Gets the screen from Hogarth. Now it's holding Katoni. Off to the far side. Hogarth's shot gets blocked by Luke Pilcher. Pilcher, we see, gets some looks at the offensive end of the floor. He's made some big plays at the defensive end of the floor in this second period as well. Zach Kerrigan off to Hayes. Now it's Pfeiffer. Flips it back up top for Hayes. It gets knocked out of his cradle. And away goes Peterborough. Gilray in transition. Take Katoni back to Gilray. Can't control it. Hayes couldn't find the loose ball the first time, does the second time, and runs away with some speed. Daniel Mays with a good attempt there on the back check, staying with his man and causing that ball to kick loose and then eventually get the ball in the Brooklyn hands. Trent Boyd flips it off for his teammate as he was looking for the return feed. To Boyd, his good child couldn't find him. Kells takes it away. And Peterborough back up the floor. Seven and a half gone in this second period. And we're tied at six. Each team with a goal here in period number two. McDonnell for Brooklyn. Evans for Peterborough. That shot turned away by Hutchcraft is strong. Looking for the bouncing ball in the corner. He picks up. He'll stretch it up the floor, and Goodchild spins away from the pressure from Caleb Commanded. Now it's Kerrigan. Off to Elliott. Elliott getting the screen from Pfeiffer as he works it back up top to Pilcher. Luke Pilcher steps in, shouldered away by Kells. Waters centering pass gets knocked down by Ogilvy, and away goes Peter Bro as Caleb Creaser. Slowing things down with Holden Katoni telling him to slow it down coming off the bench. Turnover there as Brooklyn gets it right back. Adam Peroni in transition. Stays on his feet. Has Boyd off the bench. Boyd stopped by Kells. Good chance there for Trent Boyd in transition. To add to his two goals already in the opening two games of the season. Turned away point blank by Kells, still knotted at six. Holding Katoni, his shot turned away by Hutchcraft. Battle won by the Lakers in behind the Brooklyn net as Hiltz came away with it. Taylor got the pass off, and now it's holding Katoni. Flips it back in for Taylor. Courier looking for it off the boards, and McDonnell gets it back for Brooklyn. Ryan McCrory, off to Kyle Waters. Waters, off to Pilcher, driving in, stopped by Kells, and he drove into the post. He stepped into the crease anyhow. It's Peterborough ball, but went in hot to that far post to the left of Landon Kells. Now it's 
Turner Evans. Off to Hazen. Centering pass as Hogarth lost it. Played it with his hands, so it's Brooklyn ball. After all that scoring we saw in the first seven minutes of the first period, just one goal apiece in the opening 10 minutes here of period number two. Kyle Waters with four in this one. Off to Boyd. Being watched closely by his defender, gets the screen from Waters, and that's an offensive foul against Brooklyn. And says Peterborough in transition is a big hit by Kerrigan on commanding. And that ball gets taken away by Ben McDonnell in the Brooklyn end. Brooklyn picking up the physicality here in period number two. Waters gets the screen from Pfeiffer. Now Pfeiffer in front. He gets laid out in front of the net by Alex Pace. Gets back up to his feet. And away goes Ogilvy in transition. Katoni to Ogilvy. Stopped by Hutchcraft. Taylor on the rebound. Cross floor pass. They score. Tate Katoni. Big hit by Alex Pace, springs a transition for Peterborough, and Tate Katoni buries to make it 7-6 Lakers. Well, that big hit, you'll see it right here, right in the center of your screen. Pace throwing his man to the floor, but what that actually does is causes a very late change for Brooklyn to get the defenders on the floor, and Peterborough doesn't slow up. They go towards the net, you see it here, shot on net, and then there's a rebound, and there's about three or four Lakers right there, and only one Brooklyn player. And they're able to get that one in and take the lead back. So a 7-6 lead for the Peterborough Lakers, who last led at 5-4. Holding Katoni in front, looking to make it a two-goal advantage. Now it's Tate Katoni, but that shot gets blocked by Peroni, and away goes Zach Young. Talked about the physicality for Brooklyn picking up, but another big hit by Pace. He gets checked by Young again as the two battle it out for the loose ball. And Young flips this one off, and it's Brooklyn ball as Michael Grace on the offensive end of the floor. Brooklyn looking for a response with eight and a half to go in period two. Pfeiffer spinning away from pressure, gets the screen from Waters, flips it off. Now it's Boyd, bounces off his shoulder with five to go in the shot clock. And Caleb Commandant picks up the loose ball for Peterborough. Creaser flips it off to Taylor. Holding Katoni fresh off the bench. Back to Taylor. Taylor, screen from Hazen, being watched by Travassos. Now Taylor. Switching directions as his pass in front for Courier gets knocked away, picked up by Evans. Two to shoot, and they score! Austin Hazen at the end of the shot clock. 8-6, Peterborough. After what looked like a bit of a broken play there towards the end of the possession, the Lakers get it back and get it right out in front. As you'll see here, get it right out. And Austin Hazen, with two seconds left, as you said, Jack, Gets that one on the board and gets that one past Hutchcraft. We got another two goal advantage for Peterborough. Here was 744, not 70, 744 to go in the second. It's a long second period, 70 <laughs> minutes. Another chance for the Lakers as they score. Three unanswered. Adam Thistleweight right off the faceoff. And Peterborough on the board again, 9 6. Yeah, Thistleweight picks up that loose ball and just runs the floor. Doesn't turn back, doesn't look for another, another man, just has his vision, you see it right here. Has that little bit of an extra step to have that space to the right side of the defender and beats Riley Hutchcraft. 9-6 now, rather quickly for Peterborough. Brock Strong looking to make something happen, but it was knocked out of his cradle after this will wait. Had lost the ball. Owen Hiltz back at the offensive end of the floor. Tate Katoni back to Hiltz. Hiltz up top, long shot stopped by Hutchcraft. 
trying to get some of that confidence back. As Ben McDonnell can't corral that pass, but it's Travassos. A two-on-one in close has Pfeiffer coming off the bench. Cross floor, couldn't find Darren Elliott. 15 to shoot for Brooklyn. Elliott. Back up top, Boyd. Pilcher, his shot, steered away by Kells. Fresh shot clock for Brooklyn on the offensive rebound. They were looking to get the change in transition, but able to get some offensive players back on the floor is Kyle Waters. Flips it off, cross floor passing, and Elliott turned away by Landon Kells. Nice play there by the Peterborough goaltender to get in the way. Now holding Katoni to Evans, walks in, stopped by Hutchcraft, and he kept it out with his right foot. He kicked it back out of the Brooklyn net. It looked like it was going in. Oh my goodness. I think we'll have a look at that here down the floor. Riley Hutchcraft, whoop, right behind there. Just a little hockey sack move, you know? Get that off the line and keep it out. Turner Evans getting called on a penalty here. So Brooklyn going to their second power play of the game. They're one for one. Trying to take advantage here, down by three. 6-10 to go in period number two. And they get a big save from Hutchcraft. Penalty goes to Turner Evans. Pilcher shoots, that goes wide. Or sorry, got stopped by Kells. And Kyle Waters gets the ball back. Waters sidesteps the defender. His shot gets stopped. Rebound in front. Brooklyn couldn't put it home. Darren Elliott on the doorstep again. Brooklyn picks up the offensive rebound and the shot clock reset. Waters up top is Kerrigan. Holding, steps in. His shot turned away by Kells. And Gilray turns away in transition. Gilray. With Holden Katoni fresh off the bench. He'll slow things down on the boards. 20 to shoot, plenty of time to kill some time off the clock here for the Peterborough Lakers. Take Katoni. Driving in on Trent Boyd. His shot turned away by Hutchcraft. Michael Grace gets checked hard into the boards. Three-man collision, but Brooklyn able to come away with the ball and back up the floor. 45 seconds to go in the power play. Kyle Waters, who had the power play goal in period number one. Works it off to Kerrigan. Pilcher back to Kerrigan. Pilcher, Kerrigan, holding, down low, return feed. Pilcher scores! Two attempts on the man advantage and two power play goals for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. They stop the bleeding. It's a 9-7 game in favor of Peterborough. Yeah, they remain perfect now on the power play in this game, but what a great play there by Brooklyn. Moving the ball around, being patient, knowing you have a lot of time on the clock, and they find the man finally finding an open lane, and it's Luke Pilcher making a couple moves on the goaltender. Landon Kells gets that one in and gets the lead a little bit smaller now, 9-7. Now here comes Creaser in transition, stopped by Hutchcraft. Big season from Luke Pilcher in the NCAA with the Rochester Institute of Technology. 23 games this year, 23 starts, 66 goals, 29 assists for 95 points on the season. For Luke Pilcher, he had nine goals on April 29th in a 21 to 15 win over St. Lawrence. Almost half the team's goals in that one. <laughs> <laughs> really good season in the NCAA. Really good young talent for Jason Crosby in this Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. Is that shot turned away by Hutchcraft? Ruddy looking for the rebound in the corner. It goes out of play off the protective meshing, so it will be Peterborough ball. Pilcher had a goal and two assists coming into this game. Picks up his second goal of the season on that power play marker. 9-7 lead for Peterborough, less than four to play in period number two. Holding Katoni. Off to take Katoni. His shot whistles wide off the back of the Brooklyn net. Picked up by Hogarth. Centering pass for Holding Katoni. Taken away, and away goes Brooklyn up the floor after the shot clock violation against Peterborough. Ryan McCrory off to Elliott. Boyd. Works it off to Kerrigan. Pfeiffer, who had the primary assist on that Luke Pilcher power play goal. 
Boyd. In behind the Peterborough net, walks out to the side. Up top, good child. Being watched as his pass goes into the crease and scooped up by Kells. Joel Taylor, being watched by Michael Grace as Courier. Works this one off, Hills. Being watched by Peroni, back to Tate Catoni. Finds it himself, pass in front of the Brooklyn net, taken away, and away goes Peroni. Adam Peroni up the floor as Joel Taylor wanted to go with Michael Grace, but the two separate, and Kyle Waters has it at the offensive end of the floor. Four goals in that opening period. Off to Mays. Daniel Mays off to Pfeiffer. His shot goes wide. Bounces off Waters in behind the Peterborough net. And a foul against Peterborough on the defensive end of the floor. So Pfeiffer gets the restart for Brooklyn. Ball off the stick of Daniel Mays. And away goes Mitch Ogilvie with some speed. Ogilvie waiting for his teammates to come off the bench. And Hazen, Katoni, and Hogarth. Turner Evans, Josh Courier. As Courier gets it, his shot stopped by Hutchcraft. Rebound in front. Hogarth couldn't put it in. He stepped in the crease, and it's Brooklyn ball. 153 to go in period number two. Two goal lead for Peterborough. Kyle Waters off to Mays over his stick. Kerrigan couldn't find it in the corner. A good defensive play by Jordan Sturros. Quickly up the floor is Matt Wright, but again, slowing things down in transition. Wright. Watch this one off to Owen Hills. Now he finds Holden Katoni. Being watched by Travassos. Now it's Turner Evans, 10 to shoot for Peterborough. Evans fires a shot that goes wide, and this one will be over and back against Peterborough. So it's Brooklyn ball with 1.16 to go in period two. Grace leaves it for Pfeiffer in the corner on the near side at the offensive end of the floor for Brooklyn. Pfeiffer gets the screen, flips it off to Elliott, couldn't control it. Another good defensive play by Sturros to get in the way. Peterborough in transition. Largest lead of the game has been three. It was that 9-6 advantage before the Luke Pilcher power play goal for Brooklyn. Tate Katoni, cross floor pass, and that shot bounces out of play. Holding Katoni, sorry, Thomas Hogarth saying that Hutchcraft got a piece of it, but the referees don't seem to agree. And Pilcher back up the floor for Brooklyn. Kyle Waters, his shot gets deflected, goes high, right back to Pilcher. His shot stopped by Kells, rebound pops out in front, and it's a loose ball. Finally picked up by Peterborough, Brooklyn takes it away, and they will say over and back, there was no possession change. 26 seconds to go in period number two. It's Peterborough ball and screaming and yelling from both benches to get things going is Kells off to the Lakers bench. Yeah, a bit of an iffy call on that one when Peterborough runs with the ball for a few seconds there, but doesn't count as possession. Turner Evans off to take Katoni, holding Katoni up top. Seven seconds to go in the period. Stopped by Hutchcraft. Rebound picked up by Brooklyn. No, they didn't get possession, so they couldn't call timeout. Now Peterborough with it again, and that cross floor pass didn't get the shot away in time. So we end period number two with a 9-7 lead for the Peterborough Lakers after 40 minutes of play here at the Iroquois Park Sports Center. Four goals in that middle frame from Peterborough. They got out to a 9-6 lead after being down 6-5. So four unanswered. And then Brooklyn gets one back with Luke Pilcher on the power play. But it's a two goal disadvantage for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club heading in to period number three. Second intermission coming up for you next after the break. You're watching Major Series Lacrosse on Rogers TV. Forty minutes of play down here in Whippy at the Iroquois Park Sports Center. The Peterborough Lakers have a 9-7 lead on the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. We were tied at five through 20 minutes of play. Four goals in that middle frame. 
from Peterborough, just two for Brooklyn, but they got the last one. Luke Pilcher adds to his two assists already in the game, gets the power play goal, his second goal of the season. So Brooklyn stops the bleeding a little bit, but really the transition game going the way of the Peterborough Lakers in period number two, Andrew. Yeah, Brooklyn getting the first goal and last goal of that period. And in the middle of that sandwich was four unanswered by Peterborough to extend their lead where we stand at nine to seven. But yeah, a couple goals, one off the draw or off the, yeah, the opening face off there, just going down the floor. Some transitional from the defensive end of the floor, just really not taking a chance on Riley Hutchcraft and playing with the ball too much, just taking advantage of that one-on-one -on -one opportunity and having that space with the defender Peterborough is, and they've had a couple now on that transition and on those partial breakaways. So Ben McDonnell gets the opening goal of period number two for Brooklyn. A defender, a young guy in this league, he gets his first goal yeah. of the season, and it really started because he wanted to take it himself. He starts the transition in the far corner, back in his own zone, runs the floor, elects not to pass it to the guy who already has four goals in the game, keeps it himself and gets it done, gives Brooklyn that 5-4 lead, and when we talked to Jason Crosby before this game and last week, it's about getting these young guys' confidence and showing, hey, you can play in these games in these big-time moments with some of these big-time players that Peter Bro and Six Nations have. And Ben McDonnell didn't shy away from being himself and getting things done at the offensive end of the floor as well. Yeah, maybe taking advantage of the fact that, you know, Kyle Waters has got that hot stick and he's got four goals already, so maybe the goaltender is going to cheat a little bit thinking that two-on-one is the obvious play. And then, you know, taking advantage of that and getting that first goal of the season for Ben McDonnell. But, you know, that's, that's just kind of the game, how it's been so far is, you know, those top guys on both sides of the floor kind of running away with it and a couple hat tricks on the floor for both sides of these teams and the big guys coming through. But some of the other guys, you mentioned Ben McDonnell, you know, coming through. Peroni as well getting on the board here for Brooklyn. It's the, the other guys that don't typically have the opportunity in the offensive zone taking advantage, calling their shots. A lot of players doing that today, not taking the two-on-one opportunity to pass it off holding the ball and really taking advantage of those shots early on in this season. Maybe thinking the goalies are a bit cold, not used to the you know these arenas that they're playing in once again in uh, the MSL season. So maybe thinking, yeah, let me take the shot on these goaltenders. They're not quite fresh, or not quite, they are fresh. They're not quite established this season and set in their ways yet. But uh, that's kind of been the way of the game so far. Let's take a look at those second period highlights. And it does start with Ben McDonnell getting his first of the season uh, running the floor here for Brooklyn. Yeah, you see on the left side there, Kyle Waters is waiting for that pass, but no need as McDonnell makes no mistake in there. A long shot in and gets the way of Turner Evans. And then this is four in a row, a couple big hits late. And this one led to the offensive chance where Tate Catoni ended with it. You see getting the pass right there once again, a little give and go. The rebound there. And there it is from Tate Catoni on the near side off of that rebound. And then, yeah, Peterborough kept pouring it on his passing with that goal from way out, just with two seconds left on the shot clock. And here off the draw is this will wait, grabbing the loose ball, and here faking off that two-on-one and taking advantage of the shot like we mentioned. And then right there very quickly once again was a great save by Riley Hutchtrack. And then at the end of the period here, to end that sandwich, the top bun of the period is Luke Pilcher getting on the board for Brooklyn to make it a two-goal game for Peterborough. And it was that save from Riley Hutchcraft that sparked the penalty taken by Turner Evans. He goes to the box. Luke Pilcher on the power play gets his second of the season. He also has two assists in this one. Parker Piper, who came into this one with seven assists on the year. Well, he has three more already in this one. And, of course, we talked about him in the first intermission with Kyle Waters getting four in that first period. Held scoreless in period number two, but I won't say he's gone cold just yet. He's having himself a fine game already, but his team is down by two against a really good team, the defending Man Cup champions in the Peterborough Lakers who have their home opener tomorrow at the Peterborough Memorial Center. We'll get you to third period action of this contest between the Peterborough Lakers and the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. 9-7 Peterborough leads. You're watching Major Series Lacrosse, and it's on Rogers TV. Welcome back inside the Iroquois Park Sports Center in Whippy. It's the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club trailing the Peterborough Lakers 9-7 through 40 minutes of play as we get you set for period number three. Jack Moore, Andrew Osmond with you. And Andrew, Brooklyn really has to come out firing here in period number three. They can't afford to fall behind this offensively gifted team in the Peterborough Lakers making their way back onto the floor. 
Well, and especially the fact that in that period they were only held to two goals. So the defensive game for the Lakers have really, you know, were re was really stepped up in that second period. What I noticed well, keeping the guys on the outside was what Peterborough was doing really, really well. Not allowing them in the, into the slot or if a guy cut towards the middle of the net and tried, uh, Brooklyn tried to get that pass in. They were being intercepted or disrupted or bobbled. Um, so Brooklyn not as comfortable offensively as they were in that first period. And it just goes to show as they only got the two on the board and they came at the beginning of the period and towards the end of the period. Uh, so no sustained offensive pressure from Brooklyn in that second period. However, there were four unanswered goals for Peterborough in that period, the four they scored to have this 9-7 lead where we sit now. Shots that period were 10 apiece. So tied once again, so we sit at 21 shots each after 40 minutes of play. And Brooklyn, no stranger to scoring quick off these opening draws to start periods. We'll see what they do here as a couple stragglers are coming out of the locker room for Brooklyn. They still have the door open. That's what the delay is here, and I think that's everybody. So they'll close that door, and we'll get ready for this faceoff here. We get set for period number three is Parker Pfeiffer. His three assists in this one gets hit right off that opening faceoff. Slow to get back to his feet. Ben McDonnell knocks it loose, but Matt Wright picks up, and Peterborough looking to go on the offensive possession here. Coming off the bench is Josh Courier, so we'll keep an eye on Parker Pfeiffer. Ten assists on the season in the first three games here for Brooklyn. That shot gets stopped by Hutchcraft, kicked it loose in the crease, and Travassos picks up the loose ball. Perhaps without Sean Evans in the lineup for Peterborough tonight, Pfeiffer's thinking someone's got to be the distributor and get all those assists, and he's going to claim his name. Trent Boyd tries to go behind the back, but that one gets stopped by Kells, and away goes Tyler Grandel in transition. Grandel with Hiltz fresh off the bench, take Katoni. Katoni. Walking in, down low, and Hilt stepped in the crease. Save was made by Hutchcraft anyhow, and it's Brooklyn ball. Daniel Mays, one on three. Pfeiffer back on the floor for Brooklyn. Weren't able to get a sustained offensive possession, but a good sign there for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club, one of their offensive distrib uh, distributors in the early going of the season here. Turner Evans holding against McDonnell. McDonnell works it off, holding Katoni's shot, stopped by Hutchcraft in the rebound, picked up by Brooklyn's Adam Peroni. Peroni flips this one off, and Michael Grace is, Peroni takes a whack from holding Katoni as he goes to the Peterborough bench. Kyle Waters. Looking for the screen from Darren Elliott. He gets it and throws his defender down to the floor. Elliott back up top for Boyd. Holds, works it off to Kerrigan, and he can't get the shot away before the shot clock expires. So it's Peterborough ball. Caleb Creaser, who's been a menace in transition, making life very difficult for those transition players for Brooklyn, working it up the floor quickly, and Peterborough 15 to shoot now at the offensive end of the floor. Courier off to the wall as Tate Katoni taken down to the floor and away goes Brooklyn with some speed. Brooklyn has a chance as they break down the floor. LeClerc steps in and shoots it wide. This one bounces on the, off the bench and Pfeiffer picks up so Brooklyn will get an offensive possession out of it. Parker Pfeiffer. Works it off to Daniel Mays. Mays in for Luke Pilcher, but he gets stopped by Landon Kells, and away goes Peterborough again. Jordan Sturros. Works it back for Matt Gilray. Gilray will drive in on Travassos. Taylor. Works it off, and now it's Turner Evans with three in this one. That one gets turned away by Hutchcraft. No over and back because of the save from the Brooklyn goaltender, and Kells will get this one off to Alex Pace, who works it back up the floor for Peterborough. 
Three and a half gone in period number three. No goals in this final frame as Peterborough looking to change that here, but stepping into the crease was Josh Courier and it's Brooklyn Ball. Tyler Goodchild off to Kyle Waters. Waters, four goals in the first period. Playing in his first game of the season for Brooklyn. Now Mays walking in off to Waters. It bounces off the end boards. Waters couldn't find it in front. Mays finds it. And a foul against Alex Pace as Waters down on the floor for Brooklyn. So it's going to be Brooklyn ball. Five to shoot on the clock. You wonder if they're going to get a restart here. Waters is slow to get yeah. to the Brooklyn bench, so they'll need their trainer. Yeah, we'll see. Kyle Waters not wanting to put a lot of weight on that right leg. As we see here, he got shoved. You'll see him uh, moving towards the center of the floor. He gets pushed to the floor by a Laker defender. As the ball's up in the air, he goes up for it. And ooh, and he lands on his own ankle there as he fell. And he's up, but very gingerly walking towards the bench. But yeah, he went up and when he came down, he got pushed and fell onto his own ankle. And we'll see him as he gets some words of not encouragement from the Peterborough bench and he heads down the tunnel for some more treatment. And play resumes. Could be a big loss if he can't come back onto the floor for Brooklyn. Again, four goals in period number one. Pfeiffer shoots, that gets stopped by Kells. Now Ogilvy picks up the rebound for Peterborough and away go the Lakers. Kreiser off to take Katoni. Katoni sidesteps strong into the corner being watched by McCrory. Now it's holding Katoni. Up top gets a screen, steps in, shoots it wide looking for that top far corner. Now take Katoni off to Holden. Holden Katoni off the post, and that rebound picked up by Zach Young. Flipped out of his stick, back into Peterborough territory. And it's Peterborough ball once again. Good defensive play there by Young to spring it loose, and Grace finds the loose ball for Brooklyn. As Strong back up the floor for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. And trying to find that loose ball that got sprung free by the Lakers. Peterborough gets it again. Adam Thistlewey had a goal right off a of faceoff in period number two. Off to Turner Evans. Joel Taylor down low holding against Courier. I'm sorry, Courier walks in and that gets deflected away by Hutchcraft. Adam Peroni picks up the loose ball. Five and a half gone without a goal here in period number three. It's a little strange. Such a fast start to period number one. We were 5-5 at the first intermission. Pilcher walks in, stopped by Kells, rebound into the corner. Mays picks up, and Brooklyn with the offensive rebound gets the shot clock reset. Now cross floor pass, Kerrigan walks in, Kells makes the save. Rebound picked up by Brooklyn again. They get another shot clock reset. Pfeiffer off to Pilcher, that one gets stopped and it got deflected by Landon Kells and goes out of play. Brooklyn ball once again with a fresh shot clock. Elliott off to Kerrigan. Mays walks in holding, flips it off into the corner. Up top for Pfeiffer, it goes off the referee's foot right to Thistleway. Thistleway down the floor being watched by Pfeiffer. He'll spin back to mid floor and Look for some help for Tate Katoni off the bench, but he turns it over. Devin Pfeiffer, or sorry, Ryan McCrory walks in. That gets stopped by Landon Kells. Nothing going for either team here in period goal, number three. Goaltenders are solid here. Seeing everything in sight, controlling the rebounds and getting the ball up the floor. Hiltz off to Tate Katoni. Now it's Hogarth into the corner as Hazen. And that behind the back shot by Katoni kicked out by Hutchcraft. Katoni went sliding into the end boards, but he'll get up under his own power. And Trent Boyd is up the floor for Brooklyn. Boyd gets the screen from Pfeiffer. 
Pfeiffer back to Boyd, holding, waiting. His shot stopped by Kells and goes out of play. It's Brooklyn ball. So these offensive rebounds and these offensive possessions are great for Brooklyn, but they're nothing if they can't get anything done offensively with them. Can they get one to the back of the net here? That shot stopped by Kells. Another long one. This time it was from Elliott. Peterborough tries to stretch the floor. Ball off the end boards. And that's going to be picked up by Brooklyn. And Adam Peroni back up the floor in transition. Caleb Creaser trying to wreak some more havoc in transition for the Lakers. Pfeiffer up top to Mays. Back to Pfeiffer. Parker Pfeiffer. Walks in, still holding in the corner. Five to shoot. Kyle Waters back on the floor. Muscles his way in. That one gets stopped by Kells. Rebound off the boards. Kerrigan looking for the loose ball. He gets checked down to the floor, being watched by two Lakers. Loose ball still battling on the near boards as Ogilvy trying to shield it free from Kerrigan. And Ogilvy will finally pick up and work it up the floor for Peterborough. Mitch Ogilvy looking for Taylor down low over his head, and McDonnell picks it up off the end boards. And these Peterborough defenders have got to be exhausted now. It's been all Brooklyn now for the last five minutes of play. Haven't been able to get the back of the net, but it's time to take advantage here if you're Brooklyn, working down these defenders slowly. Trent Boyd walks in, his shot stopped by Kells. Thistlewaite looking for the rebound as Travassos picks it up and Gets a reset for Brooklyn here. Now knocked out of his cradle by Caleb Creaser. Nine minutes gone now in period number three. Neither team has found the back of the net in this third period. Hazen walks in, spins back to the end board, centering pass, Hogarth behind the back, he scores! What a play, Thomas Hogarth. His first of the game, fourth of the season. And he gives Peterborough back that three goal cushion. After all that pressure from Brooklyn, this trip up the floor, a pass from behind goes to Hogarth right here, left alone in front, and he goes one hand behind the back and beats Hutchcraft for the 10th goal of the game. Now it's a three goal lead for Peterborough here with 10.48 to go. Brooklyn with the chances at the offensive yep. end of the floor, unable to convert. This high-powered Peterborough offense able to take advantage on really their first good look of the game, and it was Hogarth who had a hat trick in their 11-8 win against Brampton last Thursday, who gets it done for his first of the night. Kerrigan. His shot gets blocked, he lost his stick. Mays couldn't find the loose ball as the shot clock will expire here and it will be Peterborough ball. Peterborough getting their guys on the floor here, set up with a full 30 to go in the shot clock. Courier walks in and works it to the far side for Katoni. Take Katoni. Works it off. Courier gets it back off the corner. Hiltz up top for Taylor. Bounces past him and into the Brooklyn bench. So it will be Brooklyn ball. And Brooklyn needs a response here if they want to climb back in this one. Parker Pfeiffer off to Pilcher. Good child. Off to Boyd, getting the screen from Waters. Now it's Pilcher, down low, quick shot by Goodchild, stopped by Kells. He's been perfect here in period number three. Peterborough picks up the rebound and back up the floor. Caleb Commandant, off to Turner Evans. Being watched by McDonnell, Hogarth. Signals crossed with Katoni as McDonnell forces a turnover and Travassos up the floor, one-on-one -on -one with Katoni. He has Kerrigan off the bench. Travassos to Kerrigan and that gets taken away by Gilray. And a penalty coming up here against the Peterborough Lakers. So Brooklyn is going to their third power play of the game. They're two for two so far. Yeah, they'll look to make it three for three and they'll need a goal. They have not scored in over 25 minutes of game play. Well, they've, sorry, they've only scored one goal 
in 25 minutes of gameplay. It's been a bit quiet for Brooklyn offensively here. They had a 6-5 lead at one point at, with 15 minutes to go in the second period. And they've only had one goal since then. And they have a three goal deficit here, but they'll have a power play to work with. Still lots of time. As we've seen, Brooklyn have been able to score in bunches. So not out of the question here for the Brooklyn Lacro Lacrosse Club here on the power play. We get set up on the power play. Legal substitution, the call against Peterborough. Kerrigan up top, he has Kyle Waters to his left, who has it now. Now Pilcher can't find it, ball bouncing towards center floor, and that gets picked up by Gilray in a foot race with Pilcher. Gilray shoots it wide. Good child, back up the floor quickly with Kyle Waters. Brooklyn four on three, they score! Good child, three for three on the man advantage, and Brooklyn is back within two. And using that little decoy there, faking off the pass to Kyle Waters, and Goodchild holds it himself. See him get the pass here, and a quick little fake pass back. He'll look, draws the defender, and then takes the shot down low, beats it between the legs of Landon Kells for Brooklyn's third power play goal of the night, and it's a two-goal game. So Tyler Goodchild able to get it done the offensive end of the floor. And Brooklyn Lacrosse Club down by two with eight and a half to go in period number three against the Peterborough Lakers who are looking to move to 2-0 and oh on this season. They won 11-8 last Thursday in Brampton. They're up 10-8 with just under eight and a half to go in period number three here in Whippy. Mays. Works it off, Pfeiffer, Kerrigan, back to Mays. Less than 10 to shoot, cross floor pass. As that pass goes off to Boyd, his shot gets blocked in front. Three to shoot as that one gets fired after the horn goes. Peterborough wanted a penalty called against Brooklyn. They won't get one. There's the one power play opportunity in this one for Peterborough, 0 for 1. They're First time on the man advantage this season without a goal. They went three for three last week against Brampton. Tate Katoni creates some space, he scores! Gets it right back, his second of the game. Tate Katoni makes it 11-8 Lakers. Second of the game for Tate Katoni. Fakes off the defender. Gets some space, cuts away, and has a bit of open room there and beats Riley Hutchcraft over the shoulder on the far side to restore that three goal lead for Peterborough here with 7.43 to go. Gilray looking for the face off win. He gets it against Travasso's Peterborough ball. And like you said, an, another three goal lead here for the Peterborough Lakers. Their third Three goal advantage of the game. 9 6, 10 7, now 11 8. Holden Katoni. Fires, that shot goes wide. McCrory can't find the rebound, and Tate Katoni picks up. Katoni into the corner, gets crunched into the wall by McCrory and Young, and the shot clock expires. It's Brooklyn Ball. Some good tandem yep. defense there by Brooklyn. And just knowing, don't need a whack away at it, don't need to give up position, just pin the guy against the boards and let the shot clock expire and get the ball back. Parker Pfeiffer took a big hit at the start of period three. Creates some space, works it back to Boyd. Now Waters works this one off as Pilcher fires a shot, rebound, and unable to grab it was Boyd as Kells Puts it down and Ogilvy is knocked down to the floor, slow to get back to the Peterborough bench. One of the key defensive transition players for this Peterborough Lakers team. Career, back to Taylor. Works it off to Turner Evans. Evans, stepping away from Peroni. Walks in, flips this one off to Hiltz. Now it's Evans again, and that gets knocked out of his cradle by Grace. 
It was a shot clock violation, and now Ruddy's back up the floor for Brooklyn. Ruddy fires a shot that goes wide and out of play. Evans and Peroni were jawing at each other. Peroni will get off for Brock Strong as Evans down the floor quickly. In front for Hogarth, he scores! Peterborough takes advantage. A long stretch pass from their own end. Turner Evans with another sweet dish, and Thomas Hogarth gets his second of the game. And a great one at that. You see the long feed down the floor to Turner Evans. Has his man beat, Hogarth right there in front, and a great over-the-shoulder goal on Hutchcraft. Again, being beat over that shoulder is Riley Hutchcraft. Now it's a four-goal game with 6.07 to go. Peterborough Lakers trying to take advantage, and it seems like every time Brooklyn gets some confidence going at the offensive end of the floor, the veteran Peterborough Lakers team is right there to respond. McCrory works it off as Brooklyn trying to set up. Kerrigan works it back to Mays, walks in over the top off the post and stepped into the crease as he tried to pick up the rebound. Taylor. Three assists in this one, working against McDonnell. Joel Taylor walking in, and he scores! Joel Taylor adds to his three assists, gets his second goal of the season, his first tonight. And it's 13-8 for Peterborough with 5.15 to go in the third. The 13th goal coming from Joel Taylor. That's the ninth goal scorer of the night for the Peterborough Lakers. Spreading that well to the depth of this team and this experienced team coming through here doesn't have to be just one guy like Turner Evans getting goals and assists. You got Thistle Waite on transition, Courier, Hogarth as we would expect to get a couple, take Katoni, and Taylor now getting on the board, just spreading throughout the depth of this lineup for Peterborough. Joel Taylor's Buffalo Bandits team winning 13-4 in the NLL Championship game on Sunday against the Colorado Mammoth. Exacting revenge from last year's championship game when Colorado won it on home floor. Buffalo getting it done at home in front of 18,000 plus in Buffalo. As that shot from Hogarth goes in, another one-handed goal. This time around a defender. That's the hat trick for him. And Peterborough has blown the doors off this one late in the third. Yeah, running away with it here. Brooklyn a bit gingerly heading to the bench here, a bit tired, a bit behind the play, and one hand around the defender beats Riley Hutchcraft. As you mentioned, that's the second one-handed goal for Hogarth here tonight. That one making it the hat trick from well out, beating a Hutchcraft deep in his net. Some goal scorers, it's not fair when they do it with two hands. Yeah. Hogarth getting it done with one. Is right looking to get in on the action. That gets stopped by Hutchcraft. And the ball rolls off to the far boards as Matt Wright gets it back to Thistleweight. Had one in the second period. And this Peterborough Lakers team with another offensive possession. Holden Katoni held without a goal in this one. Can he get on the board? Spins looking for it, but Hutchcraft makes the save. Just the one assist for Holden Katoni as well. Not a guy that you're used to seeing not put up the stats, but I don't think he cares that much with his team up by six with under four to play in the third. Parker Pfeiffer in the corner being watched closely by Commanded. Pfeiffer back to Kerrigan. Kerrigan walks in, his shot gets deflected wide. Uh, no, they'll say it went right out of play into the protective meshing, and it's Peterborough ball. Mitch Ogilvie, who went to the bench gingerly earlier in the third, stays out on the floor, and Turner Evans now with it. Three goals, three assists for him in this one. Tate Katoni, two goals and an assist. Off to Jewel Taylor. Now pass in front for Hogarth. He gets got knocked down and Hutchcraft works it back up the floor for Grace. He has Pilcher going to the net. Works it back to Darren Elliott fresh off the bench for Brooklyn. Good child. 
Off to Pilcher. Pilcher back up top for Elliott. Elliott walks in. That shot gets stopped. Mays scores. Daniel Mays gets his first of the season. Might be too little too late for Brooklyn. But some confidence going with under three minutes to go. And they're within five. It's a 14 to nine game. You gotta start with one here. So you got under three minutes to go. 14-9, Daniel Hayes there from well out. Beating the goaltender, Landon Kells, who's had a stellar third period. Keeping Brooklyn off the board as much as he possibly can. Well, after Brooklyn scored five in the first, they were held to just two in the second, now two in the third. Yep. Yeah, looking at it, four periods in the second 40 minutes of the game is not going to cut it no matter who you're playing yeah, in the last 37 and a half minutes he's only allowed four with an offense as good as peterborough has that allows your team yep. to to be competitive in any game and we saw a lot of offensive pressure for five plus minutes from brooklyn unable to get get that pass kells and then that pressure ends on a goal for peterborough Parker Pfeiffer off to Kerrigan. That shot stopped by Kells. Rebound kicked out by Kells again. And Peterborough able to pick up the loose ball. Matt Gilray steps away from Waters. He goes in transition. Takes the faceoffs for Peterborough. Big defensive player gets it off to take Catoni. That gets stopped by Hutchcraft. The rebound goes off to the wall for John LeClerc to play it ahead for Michael Grace. Grace works it back to Mays. Mays. Off to Parker Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer to Goodchild. Back to Pfeiffer. Back turn to the defender, and that shot gets deflected out of play by Peterborough defender Alex Pace getting a shin on it on the Goodchild shot. 90 seconds to go here in the third period. Five goal advantage for Peterborough, and Riley Hutchcraft on the bench for a six on five for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. Loose ball as Alex Pace knocks it free and picks it up. Hutchcraft back to the net for Brooklyn. But that loose ball will be picked up by Jack Travassos. And as Brooklyn works it up the floor, as will Hutchcraft. And Kyle Waters back in the offensive zone. Four goal first period for Waters as we have less than a minute to go here in period number three. Offensive explosion from the Lakers here in the final 20 minutes. Parker Pfeiffer off to Kyle Waters. Pilcher shot, that goes wide. Bounces back down the floor and that's over and back against Brooklyn. So Caleb Creaser will slow things down and he'll get the restart and Hutchcraft wasn't set so they will make him start again in the corner. So it's Peterborough ball with 39 seconds to go. Some Fans who made the trip down the 115 wanted that one to count as well for Caleb Creaser, who's been all over the offensive end of the floor getting it done in transition. But Peterborough's just going to kill the clock here as much as they can. Nine second differential between game clock and shot clock. But really a strong performance, especially in this third period from the Peterborough Lakers. Holden Katoni walks in, his shot goes wide. And Hogarth has it knocked out of his stick by Ruddy. Final 10 seconds of the third period here as the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club will drop to 1-2 and two on the season. The Peterborough Lakers will move to 2-0 and oh with a 14-9 win over the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. And they'll head into their home opener tomorrow night at the Peterborough Memorial Center with an undefeated record and really trying to get things going on the right foot. They're trying to keep pace and keep up with Six Nations, who's already three and one on the season. Another strong performance last night. And for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club, good start, but couldn't get sustained success against this really strong Peterborough Lakers team, Andrew. Yeah, strong Peterborough team, but Brooklyn only four goals in the final two periods of this game. They did outshoot Peterborough in the final frame, 15 to 13 but they couldn't get it done as you see the score there, 14-9, a final score. These two teams will meet again. It'll be a while, July 13th, over a month from now, but four of these teams will meet once again. That game taking place in Peterborough. Peter our next game, however, 
taking place next Wednesday, 8 p.m., as Brampton makes a trip here to Whitby to take on the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. And we'll have that one for you. Kyle Waters leading the way offensively for Brooklyn with four goals in the first period. Peterborough Lakers, Turner Evans with three goals and three assists. Thomas Hogarth with the hat trick. Josh Courier with a goal and five assists. Austin Hazen with a goal and four assists. And Peterborough cruises to their second win of the season and moves to 2-0. and For Andrew Osmond, our producer, John Green, I'm Jack Moore. And for our entire phenomenal crew here at Rogers TV Durham, we thank you for watching both here and on your TV in Peterborough. Like we, Andrew said, we will see you next week when the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club welcome back the Brampton Excelsiors in Major Series Lacrosse. You can watch all Brooklyn home games right here on Rogers TV.